Good morning, everyone. This is Ida. Um, let's see. Let's make sure this phone doesn't work. I have a project share, you guys, to share with you. Um, I've been playing with um, some gilding flakes. I've never played with them before. And my friend um, Carolyn had gifted me a bunch of dies. Not just in our swap, but just because, you know, she'll send me, I'll get a package from her. And uh, this last package that she sent me had this beautiful lacy dragonfly uh, dye in it. And I absolutely love it, you guys. Um, and I hadn't had time to play with it because I was doing other stuff. I'm still having coffee, you guys. And uh, I absolutely loved it. And yesterday when I was cleaning up, that's why I can't get done cleaning up, you guys, because I start rummaging through bags and boxes and I find something. I think, oh, let me try that. Let me see what that looks like. So I can't finish, you guys, but look at how beautiful this is. I need to move up closer to you guys so I can make sure that I'm in frame. Um, but anyway, this is the dye that she gifted me. And look at these beautiful dragonflies you guys look at how pretty they are and lacy let me move you to this side because I tend to to want to come this way let me adjust you a little bit guys I tend to want to come this way but look at how beautiful this is isn't that pretty and then I did another one and these are those pearls those flat back pearls that everybody was hauling from Michael's and I wasn't able to get them when everybody else was but afterwards I did find some and I didn't buy any for myself uh, because my friend Nisha is, is um, she picks them up for me but I did pick them up when I found them so I could gift them to to people and to work on certain embellishments because I don't have mine here yet so um Anyway, this is what I created, and I used the mint and the green are the only two that come in this uh, diamond shape or marquee shape, and then the the other colors, the purple and the white, come in like a pear shape, but either, either or, guys, they look so pretty. Look at that. Even the big one looks pretty on there, and all I did was I used two colors. I used this little, um, I don't even know. Who makes a color box? These little drop, uh, dew drops, or I don't, I don't think they're called dew drops. But this is my color box, you guys. And I bought these on Amazon when I was, I was searching for a mint green uh, ink pad. So this is what I found, and it had a variety of green colors. So this is what I used, and um, and all I did with my little uh, finger dauber. And these I bought, um, I think, at Hobby Lobby. And the other color that I use is this very pale pink. This little uh, stamp, I mean, ink pad came with uh, a Valentine Martha Stewart uh, package that I had bought or kit. And it had a couple of small ink pads and the stamps and some dyes and stuff like that. So I bought those during uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, I love the how pale this pink is. So this is the pink that you see right here in the wings, you guys. And then the green is the very top one on in the color box uh, little pads. So there it is. Now I can still see because I use um, to glue these together. I use that um, beacon, the three in one. And I can see kind of little webs there, and I don't want it to look like that. But look at how pretty, guys. Imagine this on, on a flower or on anything. Imagine this just resting right there on a flower. How pretty it is. Here's the pink one. Look at this, you guys. And now, another thing that I did do, and the die did cut, I cut to, through the 2 millimeter foam sheets. And uh, that way I had uh, to give it like... Um, one stability two to you know give it a little dimension so I did cut it out twice once in white paper and once in the um and once in the foam but look at that and it for one pass you guys and it cut right through that foam look at how pretty that is 
and here's the green one I still have the flakes on me where I was working with that now the flakes that I used are these by Heidi Swap you guys and I picked these up at um, Joann's and I also picked up the glue pen that is required to use the flakes there's some type of glue that's required for this so they had this glue pen and one it was buy one get one 50 percent off or something so i got the the copper flakes and the uh glue pen so i could try it because i had never used it and let me tell you it's it's a little messy but i but i love the effects look at that the copper on there and i didn't it's not perfect you guys but that's okay i'm okay with that now I want to show you what they look like before I even add the the copper to them. That's what they look like without. So you could leave it like this and add glass glitter if you wanted to, you know, and it's just the pink and that teal on top. And then I did, I even used it on a butterfly, you guys. I even used it on a butterfly. That was one of the die cuts from memory box that I cut out and it didn't uh, cut right because I ran it through a couple times. And uh, somebody wanted to know, so here it is, you guys. Somebody wanted to know what dye it was. And it's this dye, you guys, and it, it's called uh, Dizzy Butterflies. And I believe this is by Memory Box. Yes, the dye, the company that makes this dye, can you see it? Let me see. Is Memory Box. And there is the UPC and everything on there. But it is uh, it's called Dizzy Butterflies. There's the name right there on top. And I'm going to turn it sideways. That's what it looks like. But I've had this a couple years, you guys. So I don't know if it's still available. I think this was one of maybe the first dyes that I ever picked up. And um, because when I first started paper crafting, I thought they were really expensive. But I liked it, and I picked it up, and I was glad that I did. Uh, and, and I never used it until now, but I'm glad that I picked it up. So um, look at that, you guys, how pretty these embellishments are. And these are going to be embellishments. And you know what I'm going to do, guys? It seems like I'm never going to catch up on Happy Mail. So I'm going to just start making embellishments and throwing them in a box. Not throwing them, but, you know, putting them in a box. And uh, coordinating things and just different things that I work on. And when I have a nice pile going, I'll just pack some up and send them to someone. So that's what I created. And another thing that I made, and I never do bag toppers, but I'm I'm loading up the um, the the teapot that I had made. I'm loading it up to send it to my friend Nisha who is inspiring beautiful creations here on YouTube. She's doing her memory decks challenge right now. And uh, I'm, I'm, I had already previously done the teapot, so I'm going to go ahead and send it to her. And, uh, but I wanted to add some goodies to it. And I want to show you a couple of things. And I never do bag toppers, you guys. But I did one today. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And I also added the foam in the back of this because I want Nisha to be able to either peel it off and use it as an embellishment or just open it from the bottom if she doesn't ruin the bag too much and she can repack something else in it but look at how beautiful this is guys and again I did the copper foiling on the wings and on the dragonflies I had done some in the middle and I thought it was a waste here because I was gonna add that the pearl the flat back pearl on top so I didn't add it, but I did give it uh, plenty of, it gives, the foam gives it plenty of dimension. So I cut it in white and I cut it in foam. And then of course the main piece, I cut it in a coordinating or a, another paper from the same paper pad that I was using. So that's one of them. And then here's the other one. Let me sh share with you the other one. And I still need to make a couple more bag toppers um, for some other things that are in here, but that's going to have to wait because I really want to, I want to go to Hobby Lobby, you guys, today. So hopefully I'll be able to find some goodies. So here's the other one that I created. But look at how beautiful, guys, these are. Look at this. Look at how amazing they look. 
hope I don't know if they're all in frame but I hope that they are look at this how pretty is that so I'm gonna package the dra dragonflies up and I'm just gonna start just you know uh, building my embellishments and so when I want to send out happy mail because I, I I don't just send things that I created, but I do like to include some of the things that I created because I like to have other people's art. And if somebody wants to have some of my art, then, you know, I want to do that. Um, but, you know, I do like to add a little bit of uh, handmade embellishments and then the rest are goodies that somebody else can create with. And even though I created this, I didn't put it on a project so they can add it to their own projects that they create because be we're crafters. And we like to create. So, you know, if I do all the work, it's not going to be any fun for them because, you know, I already did all the work. I want them to be able to play with the little elements that I give them and create their own things with that. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I really love the gilding flakes. And um, I had never played with them. And I don't have any other color but that copper one. This is my first time ever. Um, and I didn't have... There's a brush, guys, that you use to... Um, to kind of brush this clean to make sure everything is um comes out of like see right here in the tail of the dragonfly there is actually a little hole there but there was uh, some flakes in there covering it up i took it out now but there's actually a brush that you use to kind of burnish all of that the flakes in and it takes off the excess and, and leaves all the open work the way it's supposed to be. But I didn't have that brush. I even tried a big pink brush, you guys. I was trying anything to uh, to be able to do that. But uh, if I go today, definitely I'll pick up the little brush that you need for the flakes. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, thanks for watching. And I will be back tomorrow. Remember, you guys, Sabrina, who is the S Factor Studio, here on YouTube, Ginger Pana, who is Ginger Pana on YouTube, and myself, Created to Create. We will be back tomorrow for Faithful Fridays. And don't miss out on what the word is. Don't miss out on being fed. And don't miss out on what we created, you guys. Thank you for all your support. All of you that always watch uh, uh, my channel. And there's, I want to thank you for your support. Thanks for watching, you guys. Everyone have a great day. And God bless. Bye.